Hi, this is Teresa from In A Day Development. Welcome to our video tutorial on cost, price, markup, and margin. If you own a business or sell a product, you need to know how much things cost you and how much you need to sell them for, aka the price of the items, and what kind of margin you're running by doing so. Alternatively, if you set your margin and know your cost, you can find the price you'll want to charge. If you buy products, it sometimes helps to know how much something really costs a retailer, which you can determine if you know the price of the item and know the retailer's markup. So let's say I'm a shoe seller. It costs me $40 to buy a pair of shoes from my manufacturer, but luckily for me, the retail price for this type of shoes is $80. What's my markup and margin? Easy. I type in 40, then hit CST or cost. Then I type in 80 and hit PRC or price. Then I can find my mar margin by hitting MAR. I see that my margin is 50. This means that it only costs me 50% of my price to acquire the item. Hitting MU or markup, I see that my price represents a 100% markup from the original cost of the pair of shoes. On the other hand, if I want to sell these shoes at a discount, we're running a sale, you see, but I want to make sure I maintain at least a 40% markup, then what's my price and margin? Well, my cost hasn't changed, so I type in 40 and hit cost. Then I want a 40% markup, so I type in 40 and hit markup. Then I can find what my price is by hitting price. It's $56. My margin, found by hitting margin, is 28.57%. When performing these calculations, you'll need to know two of the four pieces of the information, and one of them has to be either cost or price. With that information, you can find the other two values. Thanks for watching and make sure you get your 10B2 financial calculator app from the App Store for iPhone, iPad, Android, and Mac OS. If you have any questions about this example, please feel free to email us at the team at inadaydevelopment.com.